In past times, car tires could often be a tiring thing to make, but with recent advancements and innovations, things are pretty different. In today's video, we're going to tell you about the product's journey from the factories to the road. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Before each tire is manufactured, it has to go through a series of steps and stages, which we'll be telling you about in a bit. So make sure you watch this video to the very end. Material gathering and compound production. The first step before manufacturing anything is always the raw material collection. Tires too need a variety of different materials to produce the necessary compounds that are later going to be used. Raw materials for manufacturing tires include textiles, natural rubber, steel, and different kinds of chemicals. Steel. Steel is provided by steel industries and serves as one of the most important materials for the manufacture of steel wires and cords. Not only does it form the tire's belts, but is also used in the formation of steel beads which stiffen up the tire and also connect it to the wheel. Natural rubber. The natural rubber that is required for the production of tires is extracted from special trees grown in different plantations. The latex is coagulated after adding acid to it and then stored after being cleaned with water. Before use, it is cut into portions, weighed, and added with other materials as per need. More than 12 compounds of rubber are being used in modern car tires. The most important purpose of natural rubber in the production of car tires is that it provides slip resistance and elasticity to the tire without which it can't function properly at all. Textiles The textiles are acquired from the textile industries and include base materials such as polyester, nylon, rayon, etc. Other than that fabric is also used for the purpose of reinforcing the tire and in turn increasing its strength and by making up its skeleton, they also make it more elastic. Chemicals and antioxidants. The chemicals that are used in tire production, such as sulfur, are acquired from different chemical industries. The antioxidants are considered one of the most important ingredients for the production of tires, as they help prevent the tires from the effects of oxygen exposure, which can be pretty harmful to them. Some of the chemicals also protect the rubber from the ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun. Carbon black. Another important raw ingredient for the tire production is carbon black, which is a fine black powder created by burning crude oil in a limited supply of oxygen. So much of this material is required for the manufacture of tires that it is transported in rail cars and stored in factories until it is actually required. Now that we're well acquainted with the raw materials, it's time to move on to the next step. Manufacturing the components. After the raw materials have been collected and tested, they're then used for manufacturing various different components required for building a tire. Some of these components include textile cords, treads, steel cords, steel beads, inner liners, plies, shoulders, grooves, sidewalls, etc. Textile cords. Textile cords are made by feeding multiple textile threads into the calendar with the help of a large roller. This rolling device is used for embedding the threads in a thin layer of rubber, which results in the formation of a sheet that is then cut to the desired length and width at a 90 degree angle. This procedure is done to the direction of travel, and then the cords are rewound for further processing and inspections. Treads. Treads are made of a kneadable rubber material that has previously been blended in a mixture. They're given their distinct shape and form with the help of a screw type extruder. After the process of extrusion is complete, its weight per meter is checked. And then the treads are cooled by a process known as immersion and then cut according to need. After a series of further inspection tests, it's time to carry out another control unit. Steel cords. The production of steel cords is pretty similar to that of treads. The pre-treated steel cords are fed into the calendar, after which they're embedded in various layers of rubber, forming a continuous sheet of rubber and cord. The sheet is then cut to the right size and angle and prepared for further processing and manufacturing. Plies. Plies are made up of layers of fabric that make up the skeleton of the tire. 
They're basically a bunch of fiber cords woven together and then coated with rubber. What they do is make the tires somewhat flexible without making them too elastic and also provide them with extra strength. Sidewalls. The sidewalls are made and cut in such a way that they suit the particular size and style of the tire and are turned out with an extruder. Shoulders. Shoulders are the small edges of the tires where the treads meet the sidewall and play a pretty important role in the smooth functioning of a tire. That is the reason why extra attention is paid to their design and construction. Grooves. Grooves are basically the components that separate the tread blocks on a tire and allow it to not only disperse water, but also mud and snow. The grooves have smaller cuts made on them known as sipes, which give the tires the extra grip and hold onto the road that they need. They're the reason why you can safely drive on a rainy or snowy day. Steel beads and inner liners. Steel beads are made with the help of steel wires having a ring-like shape. Each one of the beads is prepared by adding a rubber coating to it. These steel beads are then fitted with the help of a rubber apex and ready for further processing. Then we have the inner liners that are formed into a wide and thin layer with the help of a calendar and are airtight. It's finally time to build the tire. Once all the previously mentioned materials are prepared and ready to use, it's time to finally start building the tire. The previously made compounds are now put together on the tire building machine and assembled. This is how the green tire is formed. The first thing that is done during this process is encasing the tire and then the belt and tread is attached to it. At this point, we can say that the tire is almost taking the shape of the finished product. This almost finished product is then sprayed with a special kind of fluid and then the tire is sent off to have some final touches added to it. Nowadays, computer systems are responsible for playing a major role in the design of the tire. Different kinds of complex software are created in order to simulate the performance of different tire designs. This saves the engineers a lot of hassle, as many design limitations can be discovered without even having to assemble and test a prototype tire. Adding the final touches. This step comes right after the vulcanization. The tire receives its final shape and form. It is first vulcanized at a particular temperature and pressure for a specific amount of time. Vulcanization is the process in which the comparatively soft rubbers are hardened. Once that is done, the raw rubber becomes somewhat flexible and markings and patterns are made on the tire. You got that right. That's how the patterns we see on the tires come to be. Thorough inspection and testing. Before any product is packed and shipped, it is first thoroughly inspected and car tires are no different. At every individual stage of the production, the quality of the raw materials and final products is very masterfully examined, but there's still a final trial for the manufactured goods to pass. The finished product has to go through a series of different tests, including X-raying, visual inspections, and various other tire uniformity checks. It is made sure that no faulty or damaged goods are packed and sent away with the rest of the products. Even throughout the process of batch mixing, samples of the rubber and other materials are tested to confirm different properties, such as density. In this way, each one of the tire assemblers and workmen is responsible for the different materials and components that are being used in the process. Once all kinds of tests and inspections have taken place, the tires are sent to the distribution warehouses for shipment and further use from where car factories can get their hands on them. Click on one of the two videos on your screen right now. We'll catch you guys in the next one.